Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to the Crochet Circle. Hi and welcome to the third mushroom tutorial that I'm gonna be showing you. Now this is what I call a flat mushroom. Why? Because there are no pointy bits on top. Now in the previous previous video I showed you how to make a pointy one and in the previous video I showed you how to make not so pointy but still a little bit pointy mushroom. But in today's video I'm gonna show you how to make a flat mushroom. So I think we can just begin. So let's make a flat cap uh, mushroom. This time I'm again gonna be using a different color of yarn. So let's just begin with the crocheting. So this is I think the simplest version of it because it just increases of six. So I will go from 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, another row of 42 stitches and a nice edge. And that is gonna be it for that, uh, for this mushroom. So I'm gonna start with the magic ring. That means yarn twice around my thumb. I go in with my crochet hook, grab the working yarn and do a chain one. Now I just reposition my magic ring and I have to do six single crochets into the magic ring. So that's two, three, four, five and six. And I close up the magic ring. Now the next row calls for 12 stitches. How I'm going to do that is I'm going to do six increases. An increase is just two single crochet stitches into one stitch. So one, two is an increase, three, four is an increase, five, six is an increase, seven, eight is an increase, nine, ten is an increase, and eleven, twelve is an increase. Now to go from 12 to 18 stitches, I need to do an increase and a single crochet and I need to repeat that six times. So one, two, an increase, three is a single crochet, four, five is an increase, six is a single crochet, seven, eight, an increase, nine is a single crochet, ten, 10, 11 is an increase, 12 is a single crochet, 13, 14 is an increase, 15 is a single crochet, 16, 17 an increase and 18 a single crochet stitch. Now the next row calls from eight, going from 18 to 24 stitches. How I'm going to do that is I need to repeat it of course six times, a single crochet, an increase and another single crochet six time around so that's four five is a single crochet six seven is an increase eight is a single crochet nine is a single crochet ten eleven is an increase and twelve is a single crochet 13, 14, 15 is an increase, 16, 17, 18, 19 is an increase, 20 is a single crochet. Now the last four stitches, actually three, well there are four but uh, the last round of the increases, so that's one, two, three is an increase and four is a single crochet. So I have 24 stitches now. Now I need to go up to 30. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to do an increase and three single crochet stitches. So one, two is an increase, four, five and six. Well, uh, da, 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 da. 
one, two, three, four, and five are single crochet stitches. Six, seven is an increase. Eight, nine, ten, single crochet stitches. Eleven, twelve, single, uh, an increase. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, single crochet stitches. Sixteen, seventeen, an increase. Eighteen, nineteen, and twenty, single crochet stitches. Twenty one, twenty two, an increase. Twenty three, twenty four, and twenty five, single crochet stitches. Twenty six, twenty seven is an increase. Twenty eight, twenty nine, and thirty are single crochet stitches. Now to go from thirty to thirty six. I need to do two single crochet stitches, an increase, and another two single crochet stitches, and I need to repeat that six times. So one, two, three, four is an increase, five, six single crochets, seven, eight single crochets, nine, ten, an increase. 11, 12 single crochets, 13, 14 single crochets, 15, 16 an increase, 17, 18 single crochet stitches, 19, 20 single crochets, 21, 22 an increase, 23 and 24 single crochet stitches. 25, 26 single crochet stitches, 27, 28 is an increase, 29 and 30 single crochet stitches, 31, 32 single crochet stitches, 33 and 34 is an increase, 35 and 36 single crochet stitches. Now to go from 36 to 42, I need to do an increase and five single crochet stitches six times around. So one, two is an increase, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now that's number six and seven are single crochet stitches. 8, 9 is an increase, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14 single crochet stitches, 15, 16 is an increase, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 single crochet stitches. 22, 23 is an increase, 24, 25, 26, 27 and 28 single crochet stitches, 29 and 30 an increase, 31, 32, 33, 4 and 5 are single crochet stitches, now 36 and 37 are an increase and then I need to do just five more single crochets. So that's two, three, four and five. Now the next row I'm gonna opt for version C I think it is, uh, is just 42 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 
21 halfway there Okay, so now I have 42 stitches. As you can see, it's pretty flat, the mushroom top. Now the last row that I'm actually gonna do is, I'm gonna do a chain one and a slip stitch all the way around because I'm gonna have a bit of a different uh, edging. So yeah, chain one and a slip stitch. Chain one and a slip stitch. I need to do that 42 times. Now, if you already finished your rows at 36, then you will have 36. And if you want a bigger mushroom, then you just continue with the increases of six. And that means it will go up to 48 or 54 or 60. Uh, but if you want a bigger mushroom, I would also suggest just Perhaps using a double yarn and a bigger crochet hook. And if you want a smaller one, um, I would definitely use some lace cotton yarn. Just because it makes it more delicate. And also if you would be using some, I think it's called pearl cotton yarn. Pearl cotton. Um, and a one millimeter crochet hook or a 1.25 millimeter crochet hook those mushrooms would be perfect for accessories perhaps a pendant or a pin or a brooch even perhaps if you make two you can even make earrings hanging earrings but yeah this is now the third pattern actually for the mushroom cap uh, I started with the pointy one because it's just the longest uh, and then I showed you how to make the not so pointy one and also now in this tutorial I'm showing you how to make the flat cap for a crocheted mushroom and while I was talking, I am almost at the end of the row. So I'm just doing chain one and a slip stitch, chain one and a slip stitch. Now I'm going to do two chains because I'm going to attach this to and I split the yarn here, so I'm gonna redo this one stitch here. Cutting the yarn, sorry, I need to do two chains. Cutting the yarn and grabbing my needle just to finish it off. And that's it. So now again I need to hide the end tail more towards the center. And I'm also gonna make a knot here because this part is gonna be hidden inside. Okay, so that is now the cap for the mushroom done. Uh, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be sewing on some 
fake pearls but you can also use some beads uh, for it and some sequences now I already showed you how to sew on the these things on the mushroom cap in the previous video so I'm just gonna now fast forward till the end where I'm gonna show you how the finished mushroom looks and this is the finished mushroom down uh, I only showed you how to crochet the cap because for the stem I already showed you the video tutorial there will be a link down in the description below now for this uh, stem I didn't do the ring because I already mentioned again that the ring is optional um, I've put on some beads that I destroyed the bracelet for them but I like them because they are in different shapes and sizes so this is today's video on how to create how to crochet a flat cap mushroom I hope you enjoyed it uh, if you did let me know and if you have any questions just ask down in the comment box below and don't forget to subscribe because that way you won't miss anything that I am creating and putting out some new content. So until the next time I'm gonna say happy crafting!